So first, let us cross multiply. So 1 times 3 is 3. Let's put here 3. Next, 2 times 8 is equal to 16. So we have here 16. Now 3 plus 16 is equal to 19. So our numerator is 19. What is our denominator? Multiply 8 times 3. 8 times 3 is 24. So the answer is 19 over 24. Okay? Next. So first, we have to cross multiply again, 2 times 7. So, solution, 2 times 7 is 14. So we are going to put here 14. Next, 9 times 4. 9 times 4 is 36. So let's put 36. So we have 9 times 4. 36. Next, what is 14 plus 36? So, our 14 plus 36 is, we have here 50. So, our new numerator is 50. Our denominator is 9 times 7 is 63. So, our denominator is 63. Okay. So, if there is, are no common factor between numerator and denominator, therefore, this is our final answer. Next, let us do the same in subtraction of the similar fractions. So, we have here 3 fourths minus 2 sevenths. So, we have here 3 times 7 is 21. Let's put here 21. Next, 2 times 4. Aha, uh -huh, sorry. So we have 2 times 4, which is 8. So we're, we have here 8. Now instead of addition, since this is subtraction, we are going to subtract 21 minus 8. So we have 13 as our new numerator. And our denominator, we simply multiply the denominators. 4 times 7 is 28. So the answer is 13 over 28. Okay, so for our last example, we have here 1 half over 3 minus 3 tenths. So, we simply have to multiply, cross multiply. 1 times 10 is 10. We put here 10. Next, we have 3 times 2 is 6. So, cross multiply, 3 times 2, 6. Next, subtract. 10 minus 6 is 4. 10 minus 6 is 4, so our new numerator is 4. And our denominator is 2 times 10 is 20. So this is now 4 over 20. Now, we know that 4 and 20 has common factor. Both are divisible by 4. So, let us divide both by 4. 4 divided by 4 is 1. And 20 divided by 4 divided by 4 is 5 so our final answer is 1 over 5 thank you